Hey guys, welcome back. So anyway, I know it's New Year. It's January 1st, 2023. Like, Happy New Year, everyone. But it was just Christmas. And I'm going to tell you about probably the most memorable Christmas I've ever had and probably ever will have. So, I'm at a friend's house on Christmas Eve. I go there to and come back at probably around like 4 or 5. Or five ish, and I come back. My dad looks at me with the hugest grin on his face, and he's like, Paloma, the presents were dropped off early by Santa. Me and my six, seven year old brain is going bonkers, jumping off the roof. So I'm thinking, Oh my gosh, we get to open presents today. Today is going to be officially Christmas. My dad looks at me and goes, Whoa, 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 we're not opening any presents. So I'm a little sad about that. But then he tells me that tomorrow he's going to drive to the storage locker because he put them in the storage locker. He's going to drive there tomorrow morning and get the presents out. And I think you know where this is going. So I'm waiting, staring at the ceiling, waiting for it to be Christmas. When it finally is, I run downstairs at 6 a.m. And my dad, so we're, like, we are opening stuff in stock. We are opening all the stuff. We are opening all the stuff in the stockings. And we are shoving the candy in our mouth, you know, having fun, it's being us on Christmas. So, my dad drives to the storage locker, and he comes back with no presents in his hand and the most devastated look in his face. And we're all standing there waiting, like, where are the presents? And he looks at us in despair and goes, They were closed, and you can't have your presents until December 27th and I me and my sister we are so sad we are very 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 sad we are crying our eyes out we're crying we're crying a river and my dad feels so guilty so when we finally get our presents we're all a bit mad because well, it didn't feel like Christmas. You didn't wake up knowing, oh my gosh, Santa came. You woke up knowing that your dad took the presents out of the storage locker. So we're all happy to get our presents back, but we're very, very sad that we didn't get to open them on Christmas. And we're all, that's kind of behind us now. But my dad, he seriously still regrets it to this day. So now, that's the taste of what Christmas was like then. Here's the taste of what Christmas is like now. You lay down on Christmas Eve, you stare at the, you stare at the ceiling until it's morning. When it's like 5 a.m. in the morning, you run downstairs and you yell, Mom! Dad! Santa came! Get your butts down here! Then, Mom and Dad come down, you open the stockings, you make your pile, sharing pile, and your siblings pile. You open the stockings, you throw the stuff on the floor, you begin stuffing your face with candy, and you begin throwing the wrapping paper everywhere. You open your presents, you have fun with it, you don't take your time, you just sh 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 throw everything about. I'm here, I have a leftover Christmas bag. Um, I got it. You're literally looking inside, seeing. Oh my gosh, what's in here? Oh my gosh, Macy's gift card and stuff? Throwing the packaging everywhere. This is actually my friend. She left it here. So anyways, back to that. And, like, no one cares about the cards or anything. They just want the gifts. So that's what Christmas is like in our family. We don't care about the food. We come downstairs. We open the presents. And we make a huge riot. That's what Christmas is about in our family. So, there you go. You've now got yourself a little little bite, little bite of Christmas in the baby's house. There you go for you folks. I gotta go. Merry, no, very, very merry late Christmas and a happy new year. That's it for you guys today, but goodbye.